Alrighty, what's up traders? This is Mish from the Opinicus team and today I'll be showing you guys my favorite ways of executing on the Top Step X platform by Top Step. So when you start off your default setup usually looks something like this, minus the chart. I changed uh, the colors on it to match my trading view, but you start off with something like this and uh, most of this stuff is just redundant. Like you really don't need this times and sales and none of this info here as everything is displayed right up overhead and then but then once you're in the trade it's all displayed here as well as well as on the chart so now i'm left with the dom and this order tab i'm gonna pinch and drag it to the right just to make it smaller in favor of the chart and when i have that set up the next thing i want to do is it's just i just want to toggle here in preferences for the data update speed to be fast and for my chart plot alignment to be on the left, and I'll show you what it is when it's on the right. So when you get into a trade, you get this little label right there, and I don't like it, it gets in the way of price. So I move it to the left, that way it's over here, and it doesn't bother me as much, these labels. So, and as you can see, I actually have bracket orders set up, and while I'm here, I'll show you how to do that too. So you click this cog here on the left, under the risk settings tab, you will see risk and profit. So you select your risk and profit amounts here. This is in dollar value and you click automatically apply a risk and profit bracket to new positions. So anytime you establish a trade, whether it's long or short, these just pop up automatically. So that's pretty much as far as setting up the platform. Now, as far as executions go, there is only a few ways of doing so, and I'll show you my favorite at the end. And uh, it's a bit unorthodox due to how the platform is set up. It's a bit buggy, it's a bit glitchy, and it's not perfect yet, but basically the first way of executing, and I really don't love this one, is by chart. Now you can right click on the chart and you'll see stop buy and limit buy. Stop buy is for longs, limit buy or limit sell is for shorts. And what I don't love about this is how long it takes, first of all, to just even get there. And you got to fiddle with all this. And then you're stuck with the preset contract amount. So you can't custom input the amount of contracts you want to trade with. So if I want to trade with seven or eight contracts, I'm basically stuck to try and put out an order. Let's say I want eight. I'll go to um, 248 or 485, sorry, 2485. Click stop by, select four. Now I still need four more, so I'm gonna to go to that same price and do that again. That just takes super, super long. But once that uh, limit order is out there, you can click it, drag it around, move it lower, and so on. So yeah, it takes long, don't love it. Alternatively, you can utilize the DOM here, and if you're kind of lost within it, you can't tell with this like you're scrolling around you can't find your price there's an auto center feature here if you click that it keeps it auto centered on whatever the current price is i don't really like that it just moves a little too fast for me so i just if i'm ever lost here in the dom and i want to quickly quickly get into the center price i click here on last price and it just does it one time now i'm here so now let's say i want to get over uh get in over this 2481 i'm going to scroll up in the dom select my contract amount which is let's say 10 and then i'm just gonna right click on the bid side and that worked but sometimes when you click it fast it can do this let's see still working still working but still working okay but sometimes it does that and i really don't like that that could be very detrimental to a trade that i'm trying to put on sometimes when you click it a little too fast the web page will think that you know you're trying to do something with the browser but not the actual um, top step x oh, and also there's another glitch it's not currently showing but sometimes when i put an order out there it auto cancels itself just randomly and it's seen like that and now it's working again it's, it's very glitchy i don't like the dom i know some traders can uh, make a killing using the dom but me personally I have a different way and let me get right into it. Now my method is a little bit unorthodox. Uh, I trade both the chart and these buttons, but 
I try to make the best of it due to this um, platform's limited abilities. So what I'll do is I'll basically preset my amount that I want to buy here. So like 10 contracts, let's say. And then here I'll have one or two. That way I can scale out using these buttons. So when the price reaches my desired point, let's say I have a limit order here normally or through the DOM. Well, with my method, I'll just wait till price touches that area and I'll just click market buy. So once it's through that area, I would click market buy as if a limit order was there anyway. So now I'm in and what I can do is I could instantly use my bracket orders. I could adjust them, lower my take profit, let's say, or raise my um, stop loss. And then this is what I was talking about. I could start scaling out. And as you can see, I went from 10 contracts to nine. It updated, I could sell another one there. And if I turn on my executions, you kind of see I was just messing around with this, but uh, you could see them start to pop out. So there's another one. Um, but yeah, the executions are a little messy. I don't love that. So I usually have them off. Uh, they don't really show the arrows exactly where I want them to be anyway. But this is pretty much my method is I just mark it by where my limit order would be by watching the price closely. Then I offer out here as the price trades into my take profit. And if it goes close enough to my take profit where, you know, I might be interested in taking the order into break even by clicking this break even button here. Um, or maybe even normally, you know, I would drag this stop loss at, up here as a trail. Let's say if price was way up there, but we're not. So that's my favorite way of executing. Um, this price action isn't really allowing me to show it to you in its best glory, but that's pretty much it. And it works for me and I find it to be the quickest way. I mean, it's that simple. I just literally buy adjust my bracket orders in whichever direction I want, in whichever way I want, offer some out, you know, put the order on break even. <laughs> like I said, this action is just not allowing me to do any of that, but there you go. Now you can see, so take some, take some, maybe move up my take profit overall, put that trade on break even, and if I want to, can always move up that trail. So that's pretty much it. And then I can offer out some more, some more. And as you can see, all those bracket orders get auto adjusted. So now I only have four. Take another one. Now I only have three. Maybe move up that trail a little higher. And I find this way to work the best for me. So. Hopefully this made sense and hopefully this helped some of you guys out. Looks like that take profit finally got hit. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. See you guys in the next one.